Warrants and arrests, the end of a months-long wiretap probe into a local drug ring. What we're learning about Operation Mousetrap. NBC 10 News starts with breaking news. Also at five, a massive drug trafficking bust in southern New England. Police arresting 16 people, seizing large amounts of fentanyl, cocaine, cash, and even an illegal gun. NBC 10's Danielle Kennedy is live in Fall River with the details tonight. Danielle? Emily, that four-month-long investigation was called Operation Mousetrap, and it resulted in the arrests of people from Fall River, even Providence, and Smithfield, Rhode Island. Operation Mousetrap coined after police began investigating 41-year-old Michael Squeak Rebello of Fall River in September. Police say Rebello trafficked large amounts of fentanyl into the Fall River area. After an extensive and thorough investigation into the organization, investigators deemed it was necessary to begin intercepting the phone calls and text messages of members of the organization. Investigators say that wiretap led them to Rebello's alleged top drug runner, 33-year-old Daniel Carrera of Fall River, and his two main alleged fentanyl suppliers, both from Rhode Island. Two men from Providence and one from Smithfield were arrested. While monitoring the phone lines of the suspected drug suppliers, investigators identified several other fentanyl traffickers in the Fall River area. On Friday, police arrested 16 people and seized more than 850 grams of fentanyl, 56 grams of cocaine, prescription pills, steroids, $19,000 in cash, and an illegal gun. We're arresting and prosecuting drug traffickers, we're dismantling drug networks, and we're taking millions of lethal doses of heroin and fentanyl off the streets. Bristol County District Attorney Thomas Quinn says fentanyl has led to an increase in fatal overdoses in the last five years in Bristol County, with about 194 so far this year. These types of investigations are critical to continue to put pressure on drug dealers for peddling death on our streets. Of the 16 arrested, some of them were held pending dangerousness hearings. Others held because they're probation violators. Officials say others released on bail. Live tonight in Fall River, I'm Danielle Kennedy, NBC 10 News.